Psych! It's me! Hey, welcome back to my channel. I couldn't bring you a vlog today because I worked open to close. Here I am in my dad's office right now and I'm making a special video today. Within this year, 2017, I have had a flip phone, a smartphone, and no phone for longer than a month. So today I'll just be talking about the different types of ways to live with a phone or without a phone. So let's get to it. These here are all the phones I've ever owned. Starting with a flip phone I got when I was 17, the smartphone that was my first smartphone. After this broke, this was the phone I switched to afterwards. After this broke on me, I had no phone, but I did have this, which didn't have data. And then I finally got to this big boy. Today I'm talking to you about smartphones versus flip phones. Now the reason I am able to talk about this subject is because within this year, 2017, I have had a smartphone and a dumb phone. So let's get down to it. I had this flip phone for two years maybe, until I upgraded to a very basic very basic smartphone. It still turns on. Oh, you're in the reflection. This phone still turns on, but it doesn't work. The screen is not responsive at all, which is why I had to get a new phone. To save money, I bought this phone. This is, this is a Motorola Razr. This was just to hold me over until I got my new smartphone, but there's a problem. This broke on me. I bought this phone instead of buying another smartphone. Uh, for various reasons, you could check it out in this video right here. Also, the link for the video will be in the description. I had this phone just to hold me over until I got my next smartphone, but this broke on me a month before I got my upgrade. So, I didn't have a phone for a month. Now, the way I got through it was I had this phone. This I bought off a friend for 20 bucks. It's a basic uh, Boost Mobile ZTE phone, very cheap phone, but it's also a smartphone. This would hold me over when I used it for Wi-Fi only because I had no data. I'm a YouTuber and a daily vlogger, and for me, I need a smartphone. And preferably one with a good camera, good storage, and one that, um, actually that's pretty much it. But basically, I need a good phone. Now, there are people out there who could benefit from a dumb phone like either of these two. The thing that's nice about it is you don't get notified from Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. You don't you don't have any of that. You just have texting and calling. So those phones are very good for people who don't want to be paying attention to their phone and also don't really have anything to be doing. Whereas me, daily vlogger and social media guy, I need a smartphone. And that's when I upgraded to the S8. That's when I upgraded to the S8. Now this phone is the best phone on the market right now. Compared to a phone that came out over 10 years ago, these phones are very different, but I think they're both very good. This one's good for the person who wants to get stuff done, uh, like working on it. This has like four gigs of RAM or something, so it's like a computer basically. This thing does nothing but call and text, and that's very good if that's all you want to do. The problem is don't buy one that's 13 years old like I did. Get yourself a newer one and that will last you a lot longer. Also, you can drop these all the time. And the title of this video is the Samsung Galaxy S8 versus the Motorola Razr. And the reason I'm doing this video is because I just wanted to talk about the differences. Obviously, the Samsung S8 is the top of the line phone and the best one on the market right now, but there are benefits to this phone. Basically, there's two types of people out there. One of them needs a phone with nothing to do, and the other needs to do everything on their phone. Anyway, this is a little phone review from a... I'm not a tech guy, so thanks for watching my review on these different phones. Sorry I couldn't vlog today, but I worked open to close. Regular scheduled vlog will come out tomorrow. So, please, please give this video a like, please comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow. Do it. Do it. I know you can.